All right. So, posted a video the other day about the Scuff Evolution Pro. We had some issues. You saw those issues. We still have said issues. I sent an email to them. Other reviewers, other people are having the same issue. It's a, it's an issue. Um, I think they're going to take care of it. Sent them an email. Told them to watch the video. Told them what the issue was. They're looking into it. So what makes me believe it's actually the gimbal itself, which, let's be honest, Scuff does not manufacture the gimbals, right? Companies don't. They source parts, right? So you can't blame Scuff for that. Now you can say, oh, well, they didn't check it. Well, they, you know, they were rushing stuff out. I'm good with that. Absolutely good. No problems. But what we have going on is a workaround. Didn't come from Scuff, but it is definitely working. The controller works great, by the way. It's it's great to play with. Um, very smooth. Uh, I have little, you know, big fist T-Rex fingers. Um, so these buttons, as you remember, I showed you the button covers for this controller. Oh, that's uh, that's not exactly what I want to see, is it? Now it's kind of dark. So on the side here, which you really can't see very well. Oh, not liking that. So on the side. As you can see now it's smooth. So they sent blanks. Now what those blanks are meant to do is to stop it from being a button. Mine's still a button. So those blanks are have the same footprint as the button. As you're comparing the blank to the button, when you pop everything apart, and very easy to come off, it just pops in and out. They even give you the tool. You'll see there's two posts, let's call it that are longer on the blank. And what those posts do is actually go down through the button because the button's actually on the controller. It's got the holes in it and the cover just clips onto it. So basically you're changing the cover. If you were to cut those two posts, which I did, it now works like the button does. It's just flush mounted and it's really nice. Um, so if you got big old fingers, long ones, you probably don't need to take that button off if you want to use it as a button. If you want to blank it off, you can. For somebody like me, where my fingers are actually touching the sides of the controllers, um, I don't want that big, huge button. Because uh, as if you watched my stream while we were playing, I'm in a gunfight and I'm pulling the trigger and I throw a knife. So that didn't work out for me. Not a design flaw by any means. Um, I'm going to send that information to Scuff and hopefully they will actually start making since they make everything else, hopefully they will start making a cover that's flush like this and yet works as a button that you can buy. Um, so in order to cut the the uh, studs, longer lugs, whatever you want to call it, those two pieces on each button, I use a very sharp knife. Now, I've got a little experience using a sharp knife. If you are young, specifically, and you don't have a whole lot of experience properly handling using a knife, um, get your dad, your mom, somebody else to do it, right? Uh, if you're older, I mean, you're older, get to work, get it cutting. Um, just be careful. You know, I try to be careful when I cut, especially with something that sharp that will slice you open quick, as anybody in construction will know. Uh, make sure it's a sharp knife. Right, you don't want to use a dull knife where you're pushing harder and harder, and then you slap right on through it. Um, basically, I scored it and I snapped it off. You know, let's be honest here. But so we're going to go back over to our screen here, and I'm going to show you what I did to kind of make this thing work. Let's make it bigger. There we go. So this is IQ. Now I didn't download everything to run the computer because, well, factually, I, you know, I am not doing that. Um, I just had to restart, so I'm starting some stuff yet. Uh, so if you go in here and you go under thumbsticks, you will see all kinds of different fun-loving stuff. Um, on my left stick in this system, I got a 5% offset or dead zone. On the right stick, I have a 9% dead zone. Now, it needs to be 5 or 6 or 5 or 6 on the left 
um, or nine or ten on the right. I'm trying to mess with it a little bit in Call of Duty and add that you know 1.01 percent. I don't know if it needs it or not. Just just playing with it to see. Um, but as you can see right here, th that sticks way off. It doesn't matter what I do. Now, if you look closely, it's off at an angle. So if you've ever taken these gimbals apart, you know that up and down there's a spring, left and right there's a spring, and, and we got a weak spot here. So one, or if not both of these springs are weak, allowing it to go that way, um, which is fine. This one's off too. So if I come up with, uh, of course I closed it. Let's see here, game, what was I at? Controller tester, it's going to come right up to it. And we should be plugged into port number two. I don't know how that changed. But as you can see now, when you're looking at it, because I have those offsets in, point zero 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 two, pretty good, you know. Because that's at a 9%, not a 10%, because I want that little bit of help over at um, COD, over, you know, there with theirs. I just kind of think that it wants to see something in there. I'm hoping, and I haven't tested it yet, I have tested it at 10, and that's what it looks like. And we have COD set to 0. I set COD to 0 0.01, and I think that should compensate for this little bit of issue. You know, it's just going to add that little bit. But, you know, so when I'm holding this controller, when you're holding your controller and you got your, your fingers on the sticks without moving them, just because you're touching them, as you can see, I'm just barely touching mine, and it's moving, right? Um, you don't want that to happen. Now, there was absolutely zero I could do. If you'd recall from the video I showed you, there was zero I could do to fix the test circularity. It's high. The average error is high, you know, compared to a year-old PS5 controller. Um, nothing I can do to fix that. Like I said, it sounds like Scuff's going to take care of their issues. I really appreciate that. That's good. That's good company business. You know, it, it does. Yes, it sucks that they shipped it out that way. Um, so what I would have to say about this controller is it's a good controller. Yes, there's issues with it, with the stick drift. If you get a controller that has stick drift issues, you need to contact Scuff and, uh, you know, explain to them what's going on. They do have a warranty. Um, I haven't dealt with their warranty long, so I'll have a follow-up video on how their warranty works for me. Um, and again, very important, this is not a touchpad. It's nothing. So when you're looking at it, you're thinking it's a touchpad because they have a little gradient design in there and some other stuff. It is not. So just keep that in mind. If you're buying it because you think it's a touchpad like a PS5, it's not. Um, it'd be great if it was, but you know, that's probably patented. You know, that would get back into a, a legality issue. But all in all, I do like the controller. We'll see how it works over a period of time. I'll probably make some... I'll definitely do an update on how the warranty process goes with the gimbals. And, and uh, we'll see what we see going down the road. You know, how long does this last? Does... If, if you know, if I don't get brand new gimbals, you know, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you get everybody involved in that on the videos. Um, but all in all, I do like the controller. I like... I don't quite like the software. It's a pain in the butt. It takes some getting used to to set up, but we did get it. I did get it set up the way I wanted. Um, I, do, I am using a macro on the left side button, which I said is flush mount, as you'd recall. What that does for me, that macro is it opens up the map for like 300 milliseconds just long enough for me to clear all pings on the map on the, you know so that that helps when we're, we're playing we're in a fight you know i don't want to you know hit hit that start menu go in there and do all that stuff i want to keep my fingers on the sticks i can just boop clear and away you go um now it had cod had the ability to clear the sticks using the mouse and i'm still playing with that i'm trying to figure that out um because you can you hold down right now i hold down the left key and it will clear it 
Um, but I'm having a hard time getting it to do it in game uh, when I have the mouse up in the cradle. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. That might be personal setting, or maybe you just can't do it. Either way, it's still better than you know fumbling around and in a gunfight and everything else. Um, I mean, but arguably with the offset set, you know, my aim assist that I'm getting from the game is working pretty good. Um, it's not fighting me like it was the other night when it was guy was just kind of drifting all over the place. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure Jeff's going to be getting on here soon. It's 8.30. He's probably already on one or one of the world I'm at. But I want to make this video, a uh, follow-up video, let you know what I think. And uh, we'll see how the process goes with getting this thing fixed. Um, I did. I still have my controller here. I am going to order a set of gimbals for it. I'll solder those in. Like I said, the controller works great, other than the stick drift I'm getting on that, which is less than the stick drift on this. Um, that's why I was replacing it. So the stick drift that definitely has to be fixed or I'll be selling this thing or ordering new gimbals for, for myself. And I don't know what I'll do. But anyway, have a good one. Peace. And we're going to get the streaming. Um, I'm going to keep the stream running. I'm just going to go to the, inter or the uh, intro as I'm getting ready to get the game going. But I am going to stop recording now. So guys watching YouTube video, come follow me on Kick. Um, kick backslash org dragon. It's like my pilot name. So, later.